All right, so there is no rocket science. It's a very obvious thing. I am not a big guy. <laughs> I am 6'1", 75 kilos, and there is no way on earth you will call this being a big guy. I mean, sure, I and John Ibrahim are of the same height. Sure, I and John Ibrahim have fairly decent average looking genetics. He is this 90 kg walking monster and I am this 75 kilo aspiring or wannabe power lifter. But gentlemen, there is this one other thing I am fairly smart at and that is looking half decent. And by decent, I mean looking somewhat ripped and chiseled. Now agreed that my BMR is one good reason for me to help maintain the process. Agreed that I may not have the ideal physique many of you might need, aspire or even look forward to. But to everyone else who is in my spot, to everyone and anyone else who wants to use style and fashion to further enhance his muscular charm, this video is going to be a very handy one, very helpful one for you. 5 to 6 easy practical ways, 5 to 6 easy effective ways for you to look your most aesthetic self, for you to look your most muscular self all the time including right now. So gentlemen, my name is Mayank Bhattacharya, this is Men's Essentials, let's roll the intro. Okay, so getting right into it, the very first step to looking big, ripped or muscular is actually being ripped big or muscular no not according to anyone's standard not according to the internet's troll standard but according to your own requirements your own needs your own ideal physique let me give you an example to explain this you see this was me back then when i weighed around 61 62 kilos agree that i was still weight training agree that i was still very new to weight training but hey i was on a training protocol i was eating right I was counting my calories and doing all that thing but I just weighed around 61 to 62 kilos. Now does it mean that the 6'1", 62 kilo mayank looked better than the 6'1", 75 kilo mayank? No. Hell no. Gentlemen, the 14 kg of lean muscle mass over the last 6-7 years has indeed played a very important role in making me look bigger, more muscular and more ripped than what I was 6-7 years back. And there is no shortcut to it, there is no style or fashion tips fix it. But having said that, had I been a bit more aware about style and fashion back then, had I known my body type and how to dress for my body type more appropriately back then, hell I would have done things a whole lot differently, I would have styled myself and I would have looked a whole lot different quite easy. So step number one, start training and start eating right. Start with training, start being on a proper nutrition protocol and become a decent sized guy. I don't want you to be a monster but at least be a decent mediocre sized guy. If you're too thin, or if you're too big, you're not going to look anything big or muscular anytime soon. Now, step number two or tip number two, understand the damn fit. Not the physical fitness fit, but the fit of the fabric, the fit of your shirts and trousers as simple and as effectively as you may please. Gentlemen, your t-shirts and shirts are supposed to be slim. Your jeans, suits and trousers are supposed to be stitched slim. The logic, the concept is quite simple. The fitter your clothes are, the more tailored your clothes are to your body, the nicer it fits and sits on your body, the more muscular and more aesthetically pleasing you look. For example, here's the thing with t-shirts, short sleeves, tight ribs, dark wash colors and always the slim fit. See how this epic TMB basics sit on my shoulders. See how this epic TMB basics sleeves are nice and tight on my arms, on my biceps and triceps altogether. See how it makes my skinny frame, see how it makes my skinny body looks a whole lot more muscular than what it may actually be. I mean some of it has also got to do with the sleeve fold that I just did which is pretty epic which brings me to the handy tip number three. Fold your half sleeve t-shirts. I mean I have even started folding my half sleeve shirts because I think this is the most easiest aesthetic cheat that you can have in your shirts to make you look so much more muscular quite instant. The idea the concept is quite simple so listen to it quite carefully. This is your sleeve roll and this is your arm. The triceps of your arm are probably the biggest muscle. I mean most of you may already know that the triceps are the biggest muscle group in your arm. So when you expose it right using the rule of third like if you would have seen my video on how to look good in your photos you would have known or you would have heard about this thing called rule of thirds. Now when you mix these two concepts when you mix the concept of rule of thirds and triceps being the biggest muscle group of your body, you do it in a way where you expose the 70% of your triceps and you cover the 30% of your arms. This makes things look a whole lot more muscular, look a whole lot more vascular than what it actually is. The same applies to even your full sleeve shirts. When you're rolling up your full sleeve shirts, expose your forearm, like expose the two third of your forearm, cover the one third of your forearm and bam, you'll have 
a much more muscular looking forearm than what it actually is. So give this a shot in case you haven't. I mean, I'm in love with these shirt sleeves. I'm in love with folding these shirt sleeves and I think they make things look a whole lot more aesthetic, a whole lot more pleasing to our human eye. Which brings me to the last two steps on the list. Layering and understanding texture and pattern. Gentlemen, whenever you're buying your next top or your next t-shirt or shirt, try finding some pattern, try finding some texture in the fabric or in the t-shirt that you may buy. I mean, whenever you do have an option, try finding some texture, try finding some pattern if you can try. If not, stick with a solid color. Now, how is this texture and how is this pattern in a fabric so important in making you look muscular, you ask? Well, easy. You see, any sort of texture in the fabric or in the stitching of the clothing item can add an extra layer to our visual perspective. This extra layer makes us a bit more 3D, if you may say. This makes us look a bit more bigger, wider and broader and make us pop a bit more, if you may say. I mean, that's one reason you'll see Dwayne Johnson and company wearing all sort of texture t-shirts and suits and fabric all over because of this very reason. I mean, he's already a big guy, but he still wants to use style and fashion in his advantage to make him look bigger, broader, stronger than what he actually is, though he is probably the biggest guy in Hollywood. But that's the smart thing. That's how they are hacking the system. That's how they have learned and figured out a way to cheat the system. So learn from them and use it in your favor. The same applies to your layering as well. When you put a layer on top, especially when you put a layer on top of a solid black shirt or a solid white t-shirt, things as simple as a gingham or a denim shirt on top of a black or a white or a gray t-shirt can add that extra layer of perspective, can make you look so much more bigger, broader, wider, quite instantly. Easy, basic illusion tips, easy, basic visual tips that you can use in your favor right now to look a bit more muscular, a bit more wider, a bit more broader than what you actually are. But don't forget to go to the gym and keep working at it because the easiest way to look big and the most effective way to look big is by being big at the very first place. I'm a work in progress. I think I'll probably be at my best shape in the next 10, 15 years. And that's how I see myself looking forward in this whole fitness and style journey. I mean, my fitness models, my fitness inspirations are the Special Commandos, the NSG Commandos, Marcos, the Fighter Pilots and all those amazing personalities. I mean, I want to have a physical fitness of that caliber and I'll have to work real hard for the next 10-15 years to even get anything close to their level. I'm a work in progress. I hope you are a work in progress as well. Now, I'll get back to work. I'll make more videos. I do want to make a series on this topic of how to look big even if you aren't big. So stay tuned for that. And yes, stay tuned for all the other videos, Hindi channel, now live online, daily videos. You can watch this video in Hindi as well if you just click the very first link in the description box down below. Now, I'll make more videos, I'll see you in the next one. Dress up, stay strong and stay stylish. My name is Mangal Sara, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Cheers.